Do you want to know the quickest way of installing OpenELEC on your Raspberry Pi without noobs? Then stick around because you know what time it is. So OpenELEC is one of those media center operating systems that exists out there for the Raspberry Pi. And it's probably one of the better ones. Usually what you would do is you would install this using a software package called Noobs. But I wanted to find a quicker way of installing it without having to resort to the Noobs package. So I went right to the source, the OpenELEC website. So if you don't already own your own Raspberry Pi, then what I've done is I've provided you a link down in the description below or one above for where you can purchase one. Let's pop over to the computer and see how it works. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is to type in OpenELEC into Google. Now you'll see the main homepage there, but we're going to go to the download section. And once the page loads, you'll see here that there's the OpenELEC stable release and also the OpenELEC beta releases. Now I'm going to stick with the stable releases and you can see all the different builds here. And my particular build is going to be for the Raspberry Pi B+. So I'll click on that link. And now we're presented with two downloads. One is the update file, which is to update an existing install, or the other is the disk image file. So we're gonna install the disk image file. So here, download. Okay, so that download hasn't got very long to go. So once that's completed, we're going to write the image to an SD memory card. Okay, so to make this a little bit more user-friendly, I've kept all the windows open here so you can see the image and also the program, Win32 Disk Imager. Now we're going to open up the image and we're gonna select the device, which is meant to be Z. So make sure you're careful to select the right one. And then we'll hit on the right button. It's going to ask us to confirm and we'll say yes. And this will begin writing the image to the micro SD card. I'll speed this up just a little bit. If you don't already have Win32 Disk Imager, then I'll provide a link down in the description, or you can go to my blog post in the link above. Okay, so the write was successful. We'll click OK, hit exit, and we'll eject our memory card. So now that we've got the software installed correctly onto the SD card, we'll pop over to the Raspberry Pi and see how it works from there. Okay, so we're just turning on the Raspberry Pi, and here we're presented with the initial setup which OpenELEC will do on the memory card. So I'm gonna speed this up just a little bit so we're not waiting. And you can see here this version of OpenELEC is using Kodi version 15.2. If you are looking for a more recent version of Kodi, then that's when we would suggest that you go with the beta versions. And we've booted successfully into Kodi. And you can see there the responsive controls, not a problem at all. Okay, so now we're up to the welcome to OpenELEC screen. So this is just setting up OpenELEC with Kodi. So what we'll do is we'll go down to the next button and you can choose an open uh, host name here, sorry, and just saying what network's available. Now I'm going to enable SSH because I want to control this a little bit further. Now this is gonna take a little while, so I'll speed this up again. Okay, now the working symbol has gone away and we'll just click on next. And it's just saying thank you, click next, and we're done here. So that is OpenELEC fully installed from start to finish. So now you've got your Raspberry Pi set up with OpenELEC and you didn't even have to touch noobs. So how did you go with this? Did you install this on your Raspberry Pi and get it up and running? Leave me a comment down below and let me know how you went. That's it for another video. I really hope you liked it. If you did, make sure you leave me a big thumbs up or even a comment down below. If you do enjoy the content that I'm providing here, then make sure you subscribe to my channel because it really helps me a lot. And as always, imagine, learn, create.